Hello everyone, I'm super excited to announce a challenge that I will be hosting in my channel CG Dealers. I'm calling all the 3D artists that have passion in environment design. Whether you are a newbie or a professional, right now is the perfect moment for you to unleash your creativity and deep dive into Unreal Engine 5 environment design. So I'm thrilled and happy to announce the Grant Discovery Challenge. You have one month and a half to create the best environment using Unreal Engine 5. I dare you to conceive and create the most imaginable and exciting environment with Unreal Engine 5. I will provide you with ready to use template and you just need to scatter around your 3D models and create the environment only. You have a predefined camera which will be one single click to render the whole scene. The challenge itself has two mandatory essential requirements. So the first requirement is you need to have some sort of arc. Right now I've created something like a cave over here, but you can imagine and experiment with different things. For example, you can create a Super Mario pipe and your uh, camera will like exiting the Super Mario pipe. You can make maybe a gate over here, which is opening when the camera is going uh, into the direction of our point of interest. So the mandatory rule number one, you need to have some sort of arc. Just anything that you can imagine, but it should be in a form of arc. The second mandatory requirement is you need to have a point of interest. Right now, this cone is my point of interest over here. The idea of the point of interest is when you're exiting the arc over here, the focus of the player will be on this point of interest. So I'm giving you a few examples. You can create a castle, you can create a statue, you can create maybe a giant robot, you can animate it. You can also create a big tree animated with uh, falling leaves or something else. Everything that you can imagine can be the point of interest. So unleash your creativity and create an outstanding point of interest. Those boxes are just placeholders right now to fill up the whole scene and you need to replace them all. Of course, don't get constrained that uh, I have here a hole and different platforms. Create whatever you want and just delete my grayscale boxes. You can use any software like Blender, Maya or Max. You can use any textures. So feel free to use anything that is outside there on the internet and anything created by any software out there. However, when you're presenting your final scene, you will need to render it with Unreal Engine 5. For those who will need to create a landscape, I highly recommend to use Gaia. It has a free tier which you can use in order to utilize your scene and create very fast this outdoor landscape that you want. Additionally, feel free to incorporate my auto material landscape shader, my water shader or any other asset from my Patreon page. You can empower yourself with visiting my Patreon page and grab all the assets I've created by supporting this channel and becoming a Patreon member. So let's talk about prizes, what you will get if you win this challenge. The person who will place on number 3 will get a Gaia Indie license and a full license for the Metashoot Studio. If you accomplish to take the second place, you will get Gaia Professional license and a full Metashoot license. For the best artist that will make the masterpiece of this challenge, we are providing Gaia Enterprise license, full Metashoot license and one kit bash by your choice. Let me introduce you the media partner of this challenge, which is 80 Level. 80 Level is a global digital content publishing network that connects video game companies, talented individuals and creative organization for mutual benefit. You can find a lot of different in-depth articles. If, for example, if you are interested in environment design, go over here and some of the best environment designers share their knowledge, how they create different type of scenes. Besides all the news and articles, they have workshop section where you can enroll in different workshops. Also, there is an event section where you can find all the upcoming events in the game industry. If you're looking for a job, they have a job board and here different AAA companies are offering various jobs. So this is a quick overview of our media partner 80 level. Let me introduce you the first sponsor of this challenge, which is Metashoot and Unreal Engine 5 plugin. Metashoot is a digital twin of a photo studio, developed as a plugin for Unreal Engine that gives any creators the ability to produce high quality realistic renders in the easiest and quickest way. It includes lightning and render presets, a simplified render interface, a 360 camera and 14 ultra realistic interactive assets to create your own virtual photo studio. 
MetaShoot makes professional rendering accessible to everyone, simplifying the rendering process for architectural visualization thanks to its render interface and unlocking the 38 million 3D production visualization market for Unreal Engine users. On top of the hyper-realistic lighting assets and environments, MetaShoot is all about simplicity. One single click on the render button automatically renders all the selected cameras without having to create level sequencer, adjust settings or use the movie render queue at all. Just one click. Our second partner for this challenge are the people behind Gaia. Let's take a quick overview of Gaia. Allow me to present our partners for Quad Spinner, the brilliant minds behind Gaia. Widely regarded as the most beloved terrain design application in the industry for visual effects, games and virtual production, Gaia is truly a game changer. Gaia packs geological shapes, sophisticated erosion, snow and river simulation, rock tools and one of the most comprehensive texture generated package into simple, intuitive notes that can be used by anyone with just 10 minutes of learning. Thanks to its non-destructive and procedural workflow, Gaia empowers you to maintain absolute control at every stage of your creative journey with swift iterations and the ability to effortlessly generate millions of variation your artistic potential knows no bounds when utilizing Gaia. Gaia has a free tire version which you can use for this challenge. If you want to create big terrains, I highly suggest download Gaia and use the free version in order to speed up your process of creating your terrain for the Grand Discovery Challenge. So for everyone that has a Discord or don't have Discord, I highly recommend join my Discord server. I've created a Grand Discovery Challenge tab over here where you can read all the rules about the challenge. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look on the rules of this challenge. This is my Discord server and here I've created a channel especially for the Grand Discovery Challenge. Here you can read the rules. I'm also uploading a tutorial videos to ease in your process of creating this Grand Discovery challenge. Right now I have uploaded a quick guide on how to render the final video with Unreal Engine 5 and DaVinci Resolver. So the first rule is to use Unreal Engine 5.2 or a newer version because I've created my template in 5.2. The second rule, do not modify the camera animation. The camera animation of the sequencer has intentionally been locked. I've locked it so you cannot access it and start modifying it. The third rule is the mandatory arc that we've talked about previously, so include an arc. The fourth rule is your scene should have a point of interest. We already talked about this too. Rule number five, there are no limitations on the art style. You can create a realistic, a cartoony or any other style you can imagine. Also use anything on your disposal. Use Quixel Mega Scans, use Turbo Squid, use any software, any plugin that you can get your hands on. Rule number six, avoid including a main character. The focus is the environment. Of course, you can add side NPCs. For example, if you create a marketplace, you can add NPCs which are selling goods, buying goods, etc. But the focus should be on the environment design and the point of interest. Rule number seven, feel free to include environment animation, visual effects, particles, cloud, fog, any other effects that you can think of. Rule number eight is the recommended render settings are five seconds, 300 frames, full HD at 60 FPS. You can find a download link to the project in the description below. And also you can find a link to this Discord server in the description of this video. Once you're ready with your environment and you are ready to submit your video, you can easily submit it through the Google Forms. You can find the link in the description or in the Discord server. The deadline for this challenge is the 9th of September. You have until then to create your scene and submit it through the Google Forms. So for this challenge, I invited two additional artists that will help me out with the judging in picking the best three pieces of work. So the first judge is Martin Punchev. He is the founder and CEO of Vertex B Studio, an outsourcing partner for your 3D game, 2D game, character design, concept art and more. They've worked with clients like Blizzard, Moon Active and more. The next judge will be his brother, which is Sergei Ponchev. He's also a CEO and founder of Ponchev.com. So Ponchev.com is an outsourced studio which is focused mainly on the UI and UX of different AAA and mobile games. 
They've worked with companies like Sony, Netflix, Take-Two. Also want to give a big shout out to P.W. Nisher, which is Clint. He's an amazing 3D artist hosting different type of challenges. His last challenge was a vehicle challenge and this idea with the challenges was inspired by him. So big thanks for the inspiration and shout out. If you want, go to his channel and follow his work. So those two amazing professionals will judge with me and we will decide the top three work that will grab all the prizes. So what are you waiting guys? Jump on this challenge, it is pretty easy even for a newbie to create something and submit a final scene. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for supporting me. I hope you enroll in this challenge in order for you to learn something new and also meet a lot of people and make new friends in our Discord server. Be part of this challenge guys, thank you guys for supporting me and I cannot wait to see your final works. Thanks again, bye, I'm out.